and welcome to the new video. All right, in today's video, as you can say by the title, we are going to flash BIOS on this RX 580 graphics card. One of the reasons to flash your graphics card is first reason to get higher memory clocks and higher frequency clocks. And the second reason is because you bought this graphics card from someone who have mined cryptocurrencies and you want the stock BIOS on your graphics card to use it for, for example, I don't know, gaming and rendering and stuff like that. Before we go to the procedure of uh, flashing BIOS on the graphics card, you want to make sure that you know all information about this graphic. So, as you can see in here, we have RX 580P8D version 8.0. So these information are very important since you want to find a proper BIOS ROM file for this graphics card. So let's just focus in here. So GT and build key AD RX 580, 8 gigabytes focus, OC plus. Okay, and that's what we need to find a proper ROM image for this graphics card. Okay, so we are doing this in uh, environment that include a Linux distribution Ubuntu. And uh, you saw that probably in the title. And uh, yeah, it is not very difficult. Just uh, you need to be very careful about doing this on your graphics card since you can break it and uh, after that you need to find a way to unbreak it so uh, we will cover that in some of the next videos but now let's uh, flash the bios for this graphics card in linux distribution ubuntu so let's put it inside of the case All right, so we are currently in Linux Ubuntu. We have our graphics card installed into the PCIe slot. Uh, now what we want to do, we are going to go into the Firefox web browser. Okay, so in here, we are going to type AMD VB slash and Linux, enter. And as you can see in here, we have first result GitHub. But you are not going to go in there, we are going to go into touchpowerup.com. So click on there. Okay, now what you can see on the screen, we have three download links. One is for Windows, one is for Linux, and one is for MS-DOS or DOS. All right, we want Linux, so click on download. Now you are going to choose the server for the downloading AMD VB flash, so US. And as you can see in the top right corner, uh, we have our file downloaded. Close your web browser. And when you open your file explorer, you can go to downloads. And as you can see, we have the file in here. Now, what you want to do in this file, ex <laughs> file explorer, uh, right click on it and click open in terminal. So. That means you are just opening the location on your file explorer. You are in that directory. All right, so we have our file downloaded. Uh, what we need to do in terminal to use this MDBB flash, we need to unzip it. So uh, let's type sudo unzip AMDBB flash. Uh, underscore Linux underscore 4.71 dot zip and press not false flash and press enter. So in here we have our file, but uh, to use that file you need to give it appropriate permission. So how to give permission under the AMD VB flash? So type sudo AMD sorry chmod plus x and 
type amdbb flash and press enter. And now we have appropriate permission about that amdbb flash file. So now we want to display some information connected to this graphics card. So type sudo uh, dot slash amdbb flash dash ai. You can use i, but I prefer ai because I have more visible information when I type ai. So enter and as you can see we have adapter 0 that is where the card is connected. We have ASIC family Polaris BIOS mod, uh, flash type, product name, BIOS config file, BIOS product number, BIOS version, BIOS date and stuff like that. That is let's say relatively uh, important to you uh, but as I said previously you need to know all information from the sticker on the card to know which card is that. All right, so since we know all this information, we want to save old BIOS just in case. So what do you want to type? You can use up arrow to have the command that you used previously and type S, S, type the adapter number, so zero, and you want to name your file old bias for example old touch <laughs> dot wrong and as you can see in here we have our old bias now what do we need we need new bias with a higher frequency okay so now we need new bias so let's go again to the firefox in here you want to type rx 580 before that we want to xfx RX 588 GB BIOS OC plus and enter. So as you can see, touchpowerup.com VGA BIOS collection, open link in the new tab, and we can see here the image of our graphics card. So now we are going to scroll down a bit and click find compatible BIOS. So now we can see uh, old BIOS available for this graphics card. What you want to find in here, you want to find GTS 580OC+. We can see that core map is 1366 and the memory is 2000. In here we want to click download. Okay, and as you can see we have our BIOS downloaded. Now let's minimize the Firefox browser. And as you can see in here, we have our BIOS in the downloads folder. So what I like to do in here, I like to call this BIOS a simple way. So we can now just click here rename, but in sake of learning Linux, you want to do mv uh, xfx.rx580.8192 dot one seven zero four one nine dot rom and call it whatever you want so i want to call it just rx 580 dot rom and just press enter and as you can see it changed the name of the our bios that we downloaded okay so what we want to do we want to unlock this graphics card so it can receive the new bios use your up arrow you have the command sudo dot amd bb flash delete all this until the dash <clears throat> okay so in here we want to type unlock rom and adapter number so zero and as you can see rom unlocked and we unlocked our bios so it can receive new bios in there all right so again use your upper arrow delete this Tell it to force BIOS, tell it the port number, so adapter number 0 and tell it which BIOS you want to use. So use RX 580.rom and now press enter. <clears throat> so as you can see the old product number was 5. 8085SSF2W90. New product number is 113580085SHD1W90. 
old device, new device, Polaris. You can see all this stuff. Uh, and what you want to do after all that, you want to reboot your PC so the graphics card will reload and uh, show the new configuration to you. That's the new BIOS. BIOS, BIOS, BIOS. Okay, we successfully flashed our BIOS on this graphics card. So what we want to do, we want to open terminal. Okay, we are currently in desktop, so uh, I don't want that, I don't want this, ls, and we want to type cd downloads, downloads, ls, and we have our amd bb flash, so type sudo uh, dot forward slash amd bb flash, and type ai or information connected to this graphical unit. And I fucked up something just, oh, oh, I see. So we need to, sorry, so sudo uh, for slash amd bb slash ai, sudo password. And as you can see, new BIOS is implemented in this graphics card. All right, so this is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have successfully flashed BIOS chip on your graphics card. Uh, be sure to give a like, share this video with your friends, subscribe on the channel. And if you want to donate, there is a donor box link down there in the description. Uh, and the next video, we should do the Windows flash of the BIOS file on the graphics card. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much and see ya until the next time. Peace.